two. Uh, sorry. Hopefully this will be the exciting conclusion. Oh, wow. So I said I would give you the answer in the next video, and of course the answer is no deal. Look at that. $22. So hopefully, you know, nothing will freeze and I'll get the, whole, the rest of the game in. Well, you already know that because you'll be watching. So that's good to know. You basically know something I don't know. For now. Really? He gets a bank error in his favor? Alright, let's see. That is not good. $200 to me. And because of that, that will cost you Boardwalk. So, I will take $2,000. And I will take Boardwalk from you. This will be good. This will reduce the maximum amount of money that Arthur can, that I can give Arthur, at least on the board, down from 50 to 28. And it's a second Monopoly. That's good. So I basically just have to worry about luxury tax, because that's a set. See, look at that. 25. Or pay hospital. Or... Connecticut Avenue, or the chance you see, or pay school tax of 150. Wow, this is down 250 dollars after trading for Boardwalk. Look at that 45 dollars. So let's unmortgage that quickly. That's huge, 22 dollars, and that eliminated a trade avenue, so it's down from three to two and then after that i guess i'm gonna go for the green which will bring it down to one so arthur would like north carolina avenue so why would i even consider taking a deal good let's stay receive for services 25 dollars Oh, now he lands on it. See, that's after I get Boardwalk Apartments. But, I mean, as of now, it still gets me more. It gets me $50 more than the railroads. Look at that. He got a 12 and he gets $100. So don't get a 4 and a 4. Good, get a 6 and a 2. That's okay. I don't mind him getting a 6 and a 2. Phew, let's see. Go, go back three spaces. Well, I knew basically that was too good to be true getting. $650 from Arthur. I had to lose some of it. That is helpful. $26. So I can't take a chance to put a house put a house on Park Boys. Come on, he's going to jail. That's ridiculous. So Arthur would like to trade. Let's see, he would like New York Avenue, and the answer, of course, is no deal. Come on, eighteen dollars. How is that helpful? And I hope they'll land on Boardwalk because that one gets me the most amount of money. Alright, get out free. That's okay. And you land on St. James Place, which is ridiculous. Doctor's fee, much better than getting assessed. <laughs> Come on, 12 would have been nice. That would have got $120. But $22 is still okay. All right, let's put that second house on park, please. Yeah, I know. It, I, I know it, it showed boardwalk, but it will be transferred to park, please. Pay each player $50, not go to boardwalk. But it's still okay. Four and a four. Come on. Could have got a seven or a nine or even a five. 
Oh, now he gets a five. He only has to give me eight dollars, though. I'm sure he's fine with that. And I have to give him eighteen. And he has to give me twelve dollars. Alright, let's hop on over. See, he can still make these trade offers. So, Arthur would like North Carolina Avenue. And of course, the answer is no deal. 12. Life insurance matures. That's huge. I needed $100. Let's see, we got a 7. Oh, we Arthur got a 7. But he has to give me $70. Why did I switch it to Park Place? It's okay, it's fine. They're both getting up, so. So they both have three. Good, at least they didn't land on it when it had two. But they land on it when it had three. That's nice. $1,100. Much better than 500 So, let's see. Let's spend 800, 400 to buy houses and another 400 to buy hotels. Let's see. So I will make the trade for Pennsylvania Avenue. Don't worry, it's early, so not early. Why did I say early? It's uh, good. There we go. I'll take it for four hundred dollars. And now, hopefully, if we get to two, then I could have taken Pacific Avenue. And because of that, I have reduced the trade outlet. Ridiculous! How did I know I was going to end on one? How did I know? Good, alright, so now let's start saving up $2,000 to, to buy a Pacific Avenue. So, hop on over. So, you know, you can only trade for the orange now. Let me guess, he would like New York Avenue. See? That he said New York Avenue. That's what I said. Good, I got a nine. Come on. So, but luckily, you know, by making that trade with Pennsylvania Avenue, I have decreased the maximum amount of money I can give Arthur down from 28 to 26. That is not good for Arthur. Two thousand dollars, right for me. But don't worry, Arthur. I'll be happy to make a deal with you. You were kind enough to give me $2,000, so... How about I will refund your money for Pacific Avenue? You will get a 100% refund from your boardwalk money. So that would be $2,000 for Pacific Avenue. Good, good, good. There we go. That's good. And plus, this has decreased the maximum amount of money I can give Arthur down from 26 to 24. I'm going to have to avoid these uh, chance cards. There we go. That's helpful. $70. All right, I'm going to put two houses on the green. One will go on Pacific Avenue. Why did I pick Pacific Avenue? Hey, good, he landed on short line. That gets me more than the green would. The green gets me a max of 150. Oh, come on, assist. Venter and Atlantic have to go. Can't believe I got assist. See, I wanted those cards to be in reverse. I wanted Arthur getting assessed, and I wanted the get out of jail free card. Look at that advanced go. Oriental Avenue, he owns that property. That's what I'm trying to avoid getting assessed. Full time mortgage, Atlantic Avenue. 
that's all I can do for now. Oh, come on, where's the double railroad card when you need it? So, Arthur would like to trade. Let's see, he would like New York Avenue. And of course, the answer is no deal. Come on, 14 Arthur, how is that helpful? That's lucky, pay no rent. And now I get the double railroad card. I don't want that card, it just moves me to the next railroad. Ooh, collect $50 from Arthur. Well, goodbye, go money. Wow, he got out free, but he still had to pay me $50. Take a ride on the reading. Good, I'll take a go, money. $200. That's huge. Damn, well, let's unmortgage that property. Come on, a 7 or a 10. Obviously, 10 would have been better. 9's okay, $12. It'll help me if I get assessed or have to give Arthur $18. Let's see, 10, that is helpful. You paid $100. Let's take a chance, let's put a house on North Carolina Avenue. Yep, it did say Pennsylvania, but the house will go to North Carolina, as you can see. Good, keep landing on, avoid that green monopoly. Because, of course, eventually... It won't be worth as much. Especially, especially if I get hotels there. There we go. $450. Let's see. Just this thing, so. There we go. Now I want him to land on the green instead of short line. It's now $450 and $390. So obviously it would, be, it would be great if he landed on a boardwalk. Let's see, got ten. That's not good. You can't be giving me a hundred dollars. Because then I will clearly. Oh, I should have extended the damage. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have. What do you know? He landed on short line again. That's another two hundred. So. Arthur would like to trade. Let me guess. New York Avenue. See? Wow. How do I keep knowing he wants New York Avenue? Seven. Good. Bank error in his favor. That's ridiculous. Maybe it's getting $18. So there's a me. Oh, come on, jail. I wonder if Arthur will pay off the jail fee. Good, there's $10 off the jail fee. Alright, turn two. He has to pay hospital. Let's see, he would need an eight. Pay off the jail fee, but he got a ten. So, look, 20, so I got $32 off the jail fee. Not the 50 I wanted. So I lost $18. There we go. Let's take a chance. Let's put two houses here. Instead of three, but Arthur didn't pay off the jail fee enough. That is not good. $1,000. Let's put... Oh, I can't place that many. Let's place two houses. What's this? Sorry. Wow. Messed that up. I could place four. And let's place a ho- oh. oh no, did I just- I sold a house? Wow, I did not mean to sell that house. That was a complete mistake. So I just lost a hundred dollars. For no reason. Completely misclick. That's horrible. 
Oh, come on. 700. Venter, Atlantic, Illinois, Indiana, New York, and Virginia Avenue all have to go. That's ridiculous. That's the second time today I've gotten assessed. Whoa, and my piece is going to jail. Let's see if Arthur will pay off the jail fee. On his first turn, he gave me $8, so... Hey, at least that puts me out of the danger zone. Second term, turn, turn, why did I say turn? Second turn, he gave me nothing. Good, he got double, so he gets another chance. Seven, it's more. So he gave me eight dollars. All it did was put me out of the danger zone. I lost forty-two dollars in jail. Five, good, eleven hundred dollars. So let's unmortgage these properties. There we go. Let's quickly unmortgage them all. And now I still don't have enough for hotels. I can buy one. And be $3 short. Let's see. Actually, a 7 would eliminate him. I think. He only has five fifty worth of assets. Yep, that he would have been eliminated. So, he would like New York Avenue. What a surprise. Which is not a surprise. Let's put Hotel on Pacific Avenue. So, hopefully this will be enough to eliminate Arthur. Jail? Come on, how was that helpful? Let's see, turn one. No, he did not pay off the jail fee. Second turn, he also didn't pay off the jail fee. He would need 5, 8, or an 11. He got an 8, so he paid off the jail fee. He gave me $80, so that's huge. Oh no! Phew. I thought I was going to end the game in jail. But he had to give me 200 I wonder if I get assessed again for a third time. Pay school tax. Much better than getting assessed. Let's see. Seven. Nearest utility. All right. So 1023 minus 70. That's okay. Let's see. So he has 953. It doesn't look like board the park place would eliminate park place would not eliminate him. But boardwalk would. Come on, I just gave Arthur the maximum amount of money. I could give him $24. But he was kind enough to give me 200 So now Park Place will eliminate him. And Pennsylvania Avenue would. Let's see. Good. A two or five. Pennsylvania Avenue. All right, that's the game. So I will see you in the next video.